Retired Duke Divinity School professor and author John Westerhoff stated in his book, A Pilgrim People, that it is on Christmas when we celebrate God's coming to us, and it is on Epiphany when we celebrate our going to God. It's a good statement, I think, because it sets up the appropriate theme for each new Epiphany season. God is here in Jesus, and we may wholeheartedly respond to him. The Epiphany season is an admission, both biblically and liturgically, that our lives in the Spirit are an ongoing pilgrimage into God's presence with us. As we continue to move forward towards his manger in Bethlehem that first time, then towards his wet, dripping body as he emerges from the River Jordan, and then next week as we move towards his first miracle at a wedding feast in Canaan of Galilee, we move progressively towards him so that finally, one more time, he may dwell in us and we in him. During this season of multiple manifestations, of multiple epiphanies, if you will, we are shown what God can do and we may move closer, ever closer, in order to experience one more sign so that we may hear one more startling announcement from our ever-present God. Actually, this proactive Epiphany Tide response to God is how our lives are meant to be lived all year long, one year after another. Our lives in the Spirit have actually been an ongoing pilgrimage into God's presence. We are always moving and changing. We are multiplying and dividing. We are falling down one minute and getting back up the next. There is some predictability, indeed, but there are a whole lot of surprises that continue to afford us new life, new vision, and new hope in spite of our physical aging and the ravages of change. This is, of course, where our individual life stories, our individual pilgrimages become so holy, so sacred, so special. This is why each one of us is obviously the only one who has ever responded to God the way we have and the way we are. Each one of us on our individual journeys into the divine presence is as markedly different as are our physical appearances. While we began our pilgrimages with an adoption by God through our baptisms, the unfolding stories have all been different. Our parents and other big people have usually pushed us forward, ever forward. And if we were lucky, and I think probably really blessed, we've learned that God is love with warm hugs acceptance of our littleness, and receiving gifts from those who wanted us to know about giving and receiving. We learn more about God through pictures and storybooks and scriptural poetry, and if we were able, by a new kind of acceptance by others. God's presence has woven in and out of our lives, being close at times and seemingly absent at others. We may or may not have been confirmed, but we still went to church at least twice a year and said grace at meals when we remembered. I suspect we even participated in numerous religious discussions, even those um, semi-alcoholic ones at 2 a.m. in the morning in the college dorm. Marriage or special friendships may have come in there somewhere, so that we slowly began to realize that sharing one another's physical space became as much a major part of our spiritual journey as so many other things. We have wrestled, too, with our obsessions and ambitions and sought success and happiness with or without a publicly admitted belief in God. But yes, God has always, always been there even when we found ourselves 
playing God to our children or thinking we could actually control the lives of others. Our pilgrimages have continued, yours and mine, ever, ever forward, pushing us beyond all those things that we never thought we would do or think or say, ever forward towards that ultimate wholeness we began to seek when we were born the second time by water and the Spirit. Yes, ever forward towards a fulfillment and a health, a holiness, if you will, that wraps our personal wholeness in peace and justice, equality and freedom, dignity and love. These were and are the things we built our personal hopes upon. And these are, in fact, what our faith in Jesus Christ is all about. And so, yes, we move on, continuing to seek more epiphanies for ourselves, seeking to show others that God has indeed come to us and that God still is with us and that the fullness of our lives in Christ is that we ourselves are always going to God. May we continue this year to experience our unique journeys, and may we move on to a new year rejoicing in our own unique epiphanies. Amen.